Hey guys, this video will be a very simple one. We are talking about the 404 page. So whenever you create a new application in Backend List and you start working with the UI Builder, the 404 page is automatically created for you and by default it looks exactly as what you see on your screen. The 404 page behavior is very well understood. This is the page that normally shows up when you navigate something that doesn't exist. And that behavior is pre-built into the applications generated and created by the UI Builder. So whenever you navigate to a path within your application created with the UI Builder, and if that path ends up being pointing to nothing, something that doesn't exist, then the 404 page shows up. And you can easily uh, see and try it out just by opening up a page and then modifying the URL and you will see what, what's going to happen. The 404 page is created with the UI Builder itself. So if you need to customize it to uh, match the look and feel of your overall app, or if you want to come up with something clever and funny, you can easily do that just by working with the UI Builder itself. But as far as the demonstration, let me switch to a page. Uh, for instance, I have one here with some charting. If I open it up in a browser, it is being rendered. And now, uh, actually, let me move it just so you can see the URL. So here, for instance, if I try to navigate to some foobar page, then the 404 is being displayed. So that's how it works in UI Builder. I hope you found this useful. This will, as I said, this is a, a very simple one. If you need to navigate to the actual 404, just move the mouse over to see the list of your pages and 404 is going to be right there. Thank you for watching this video and as always, happy Godless coding.